हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग गुड इवनिंग नमस्ते हाउ आर यू ऑल डूइंग टुडे आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड फॉर टुडे सेशन आई होप यू ऑल आर आल्सो एक्साइटेड राइट सो टुडे वी ऑल आर हियर फॉर दिस ब्यूटीफुल मंडाला एंड एज यू ऑल नो आई एम योर होस्ट निधि प्रकाश एंड माय हस्बैंड अजय प्रकाश इज योर को होस्ट टुडे आई है अजय Hello everyone and he is helping me in the chat and I'm focusing on the art and we are working on a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper we need a black marker pen thick black marker pen is optional just to fill the boxes otherwise we can use the same pen graphite pencil for the shading at the end any blending device either the q tip or the blending stump that is required and this is the most important thing is the compass and we need ruler too so that's all and as i told you we are working on a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper i'm working on this pre cut sheet these are the artist styles as i already show you that every single time either we are doing the spiral art which we did yesterday and yesterday we we made this spiral art and today we are working on the mandala and tomorrow sunday we are going to work on the zen doodle in all three pattern drawing we use the same artist style these are the pre cut 6 inch by 6 inch artist style made for the pattern drawing and all three pattern drawing i'm using the same pen micron 08 pigma pen so here you go so as you know that mandala is a radial pattern and we start from the center so the first thing first we need to find out the center so as you see this is a 6 inch by 6 inch square sheet we need to find out the center so i'm getting 3 inches from all four sides i'm marking at 3 inches so that i can draw one vertical and one horizontal line like if you were here with me yesterday with the spiral art in spiral art we don't use ruler we do we draw everything free hand but in mandala we can do free hand it's not that we can't draw mandala free hand free hand mandala is fun but sometimes in some specific design we really need uh proper guidelines that gives us you know that beauty of all uh like it it looks pretty uh, beautiful and symmetrical all around so first draw these after that we need to divide it four into four more parts so the uh, can you repeat the measurements once so it's just i divided it into vertical and horizontal that's it so far and you can see it's kind of uh just i uh, 3 inches and 3 inches from both side because the paper is 6 inches now i'm joining it from the corner to corner and make sure that it's touching your center point where we made the plus if you want you can use a uh, protector for that to divide every 45 degree angle and to divide your page into eight parts this is easier way so i'm using this this is a easier and quicker way but we can use protector or the uh, or helix circle to divide it into eight parts oops Here you go. So I divided this whole page into eight sections, eight equal sections. If you want the degree angle, so they are the forty-five degree angles, every single section. So this is the first step, guys. After that, it's important to know the measurements, and I'm here showing you on the screen. If you can see on the top of the screen, we are going to draw. five concentric circles 
0 0.6, 1, 1.5, 2 and 4 centimeters. You can see the measurement on the top of the screen. And you can see how I'm measuring it on my paper. So right now, put your ruler at the center with the zero. We are talking into the centimeters guys, okay? Then mark at the 0 0.6 centimeters, 1 centimeter, 1 and half centimeter, 2 centimeter and 4 centimeters. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 concentric circles we are going to make. And for the beginning, I would like everybody to draw everything with the pencil. And then we will trace everything with the black pen. We already have the measurement, so we need not to use the ruler again and we can just directly draw our guidelines. So this, this is our center circle. Then at the one, I'm drawing these circles lighter because eventually we are going to draw over these circles with the pen. Okay, so now I'm waiting for everyone to tell me that you guys are done till here, done with all these five concentric circles and then we all will resume together. So please write down in the chat that when you guys are done and measurements are there on the screen on the top, concentric circles with pencil and there are five concentric circles. Thank you, Neera. I'm waiting of me. Draw five concentric circles with the pencil. So we are just done with the two step. First step is to divide our paper into eight equal parts, all with the 45 degree angles. Second step is to draw five concentric circles on the uh, measurement which is there on the top of the screen. You can see, I can repeat it again, 0 0.6, 1, 1.5, 2 and 4 centimeters. Awesome, beautiful. Thank you for your feedback guys. Now, we are going to use our uh, this compass and we need a 2 centimeter measurement. You see this was... A two centimeter we can measure from here so this is a two centimeter measurement guys and every four centimeter circle where they are touching to these eight sections we are going to draw circles here one two we are going to draw eight circles Four. in this particular pattern guys guidelines are really important because we really want all circles to be of the same size and it should look very symmetrical it should look uh, beautiful so that's why these guidelines are really important uh, can you one show the final product after you turn the Yeah, this is the final product, guys. Thank you. You're welcome. Oops. So, uh, somebody is asking for the measurements of the small circles. So, mm -hmm. I think that is 2 centimeters, but the measurements are written up top as well. Yes. If, if these circles you are asking, these are the 2 centimeters.
the viewers asking again how many measures are these circles so can you repeat from the beginning uh, it's written on the screen though Mm -hmm. Yes, Ajay, I can do that. So the way first we started working with the eight sections, divided into eight section. Then we draw one, two, three, five concentric circles, and the measurement for the five concentric circles on the top of the screen: zero point six, one, one point five, two, and four centimeters. And then this four centimeter circle, that is the outer circle, we drew these eight circles. These are overlapping circles. and the measurement is 2 cm for the each one okay beautiful now we will change our uh, this distance of the compass is 1 cm okay guys you can see either from here it is 1 cm or you can check here because we made this 1 cm circle here now this is 1 cm and we are going to draw 1 cm circle in each of these concentric circles each of these eight circles i'm sorry and don't worry guys if it's still not clear to you because we are going to redraw most of the things with the pen again not everything so please don't uh, trace everything with the pen because some of the lines are going to erase we don't need them they are just to guide us so don't trace everything with the pen but most of the things we are going to trace it with the pen okay <laughs> so here you go this is our last circle guideline hi naisha so Now we'll start using our pen. I hope everybody is done till here. Can you guys please give me the feedback? Shall I start with the pen now? Size of the inner circle is one centimeter. Kirthana. Yes. While waiting, thank you, Prakhar. Please write down one or two. If you guys are drawing along with me, write down one. And if you are just enjoying watching this video, watching us drawing, so please write down two. and i'm waiting you guys and while waiting i just want to remind you guys don't forget to subscribe the channel leave the chat go outside and click on the subscribe button so that whenever i go live or i upload any video you will be you will be notified by the youtube and you will not miss any of my live session so it will help me it's free for you and it will help me grow my channel as well as it will encourages me to keep running these kind of sessions right so click on the subscribe button and click on the thumbs up button too thank you guys and now we are going to use our black marker pen and i'm putting my black marker pen in this compass so then it would be easier for me to i so, uh some people are asking for the small circle radius so that is 1 cm I'm putting my black marker pen in the compass now guys as you can see Here you go and I'm just trying that it's working fine perfect so now as i told you we are not going to retrace each and every thing each and every guideline with the pen okay so please look carefully we are going to trace the inner circle the first one i made it little bigger kind of 
okay guys then this one then this 1.5 My black marker pen is thick, cannot put it in the compass. Oh, then you have to go over the line with the hand. Okay. And we will not trace the second two centimeter circle, guys. Okay. Don't trace the second centimeter circle, please. And we are going to trace the fourth centimeter circle. And now here is a trick guys when we are tracing these two centimeter circle we are not tracing the whole circle okay we are just going to trace it from this corner to this corner so please don't trace the whole circle just trace this much and leave this center part okay trace all the circles all the outer circles but don't trace the whole circle leave this bottom part empty we are going to erase that part okay this way don't hurry be slow be very focused because when we work with the pen in the compass or either with the free hand over the line we really need to work slow because if we work faster like it's really easy to be you know mess up so don't hurry be slow be focused guys don't raise the whole circle leave the bottom part untraced because we are just going to erase that part later After that we are going to trace the inner circles complete like the one centimeter circle we are going to trace the full circle we are not going to stop our cell at any direction here and if your circle is going little inside you can make it little smaller okay like that hmm. after drawing these one centimeter circle I will wait for everybody to catch up till here and I will wait for your feedback your reply and then we'll resume together okay guys take your time Awesome. So now I'm waiting for you. I kept my pen back. I'm waiting for you guys. Tell me when you guys are done till here and then we'll start the next step.
uh, Naisha, this is kind of the Zendala only you are doing right now. Are you looking for the separate kind of the skill based classes? Then we can talk about it later. awesome now i'm putting you know my pen back again in this compass and we need few more lines which we are going to draw directly without thank you rishali and now you see in the outline it is like kind of the two centimeters but we are extending it kind of you know two more centimeters and we make these outlines outline of this hole if you want you can retrace it with the pencil first and then you can trace it with the pencil first and then retrace it with the pen if you want you can trace directly with the pen it's your choice okay this is just the one more outer line of the whole mandala. So Aditi is asking for some help for the outside circles. Mm -hmm. You can repeat this last one, I guess. So is this the one which you I'm doing right now? I'm not sure. So is this last one like if you remember the main this these circles are the two centimeters one? So I just increased few more points, maybe three more points or the two more points and then I made these outer lines everywhere. So uh, outer line size. So if you want to really see the distance, it is the three points. You see, this is the three points, 0 0.3 centimeters extra. Is this what you are asking? Awesome. Is everybody done till here? Okay, I'm waiting for 10 more seconds and I'm not taking it out because we need few more lines. Okay, guys. And before I start few more lines, you see our these two centimeter circles here. These are the one centimeter gap, our inner circle and the outer circle here. So in between that, just at the half centimeters here. So basically the distance is one and a half centimeters here we are going to draw just line on the top part of the circle this in all eight sides that's why mandala represents the whole life because it uh, expands into the circular way and it's similar everywhere. It's a beautiful pattern drawing. It's a beautiful meditative tool and an art therapy tool. So, although we need to draw four more lines, but I'm just stopping it here right now. Let's just work. So, now I'm starting working from the center part. 
this is kind of touching here Uh, once again, can you show the final product? Uh, there seems to be some new people, so they know mm -hmm. what we are drawing. Yes, this is the final product which we are doing right now. And guys, you know, in this session, we work on a 6 inch by 6 inch square paper. Either we are doing the mandal, either we are doing the zen doodle, which we are doing going to do tomorrow this pattern, or this one we did yesterday, the uh, spiral art, or the mandala, or the zendala, which we are doing now. You can expand these patterns into the any size like you see this is one zendala pattern which I made into the 26 I think 20 by 16 size uh, block as you can see so just for these video purposes we do the smaller sizes but you can expand these to any sizes you can uh, make them in as big and you can like kind of frame them and uh, <laughs> Oh, thank you for subscribing so that's how it goes okay so before I start I'm just going to erase the center part first if you have gray marker pen you can use gray marker pen for the center part if you don't have it's absolutely okay I'm just using this one gray marker pen and I'm filling this center part very lightly if you don't have gray marker pen just skip it we are going to use the graphite pencil at the very end it's absolutely okay okay this is absolutely optional step of this gray marker pen and then we are going to use our this black marker pen we are going to make lots of these. Maybe we can zoom in more towards the center. Mm -hmm. yeah, we are going to make focus again. Focus again? Yeah. It's good? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And we are going to do a lot of these dots or the stipplings in the very corner of this. Circle into the center and these dots will become a little bit more open when we are going to the center like that after that there is one more optional step we can use a white jelly roll pen This is the white, yes. Let's wait a little bit. I think people are trying to catch up. Okay. I'm waiting, guys. So, if I'm using any separate, any, you know, extra uh, medium or the tool, that is absolutely optional, but I'm giving you ideas. So, like, if you want, you can add these tools, you can buy them. And, but if you don't have them, it's not that it's not completed these are just the extra optional steps okay guys so this is the white pen you can use white ink pen white correction pen any white marker pen and you can give a little bit of these white dots just into the center just to give a little bit more extra element to this work and if you don't have any white pen if you have white acrylic paint so with any you know all pen or that toothpick very tiny you can use that and you can do that and at the end of this session I'm going to show you how I'm going to use the white acrylic paint in this mandala at the very end to get that beautiful perfect dots if you want but I'm going to give you both options with the paint and without the paint so stay with me till and to see that uh, white acrylic paint dots after that we are going to work in this second layer in between these one and the one and a half okay so in every section we are going to draw a beautiful heart shape and this heart shape is going to touch these eight sections half and half like this So 
so we are going to draw eight hearts it's okay if they all are not looking similar if one is little bigger one is little smaller don't worry because we are not going to see any uh, one heart at a time we are going to see it as a whole and that is the concept of the life you don't see one incident separately you see it as a whole right and this rest we are going to fill this hole with the black marker pen you can use the same black marker pen you can use the thick black marker pen it's absolutely your choice If you don't have I'm sorry guys if you don't have the white marker pen or the white paint then you can make the circle right now and leave it and then fill it I'm sorry if you have filled it like you can leave it the circle like this in between of these but if you have the white jelly roll pen or the white ink pen you can fill it and you can make the dot later so these are the two styles which I was talking of with you so I'm leaving this one circle like that to show you the both option. If you want, you can leave the circle like this. If you want, you can fill the hole. I'm going to use the acrylic paint at the very end to make the beautiful dots that's why I filled it everywhere and but if you want to leave it the circle like that you can leave the circle like that if you have white jelly roll pen you can just fill it and make the dot with the white jelly roll pen later and you can correct these hearts also with the white jelly roll pen later make them little bigger or wider whatever way you want now I'm again grabbing my pencil guys to work in these bottom areas of our these circles okay is everybody done here shall I start the next step done awesome Avni so you see where these points are coming here down so we are going to join it like this and like this and before that we can erase this center line and this line we don't need that uh, Rushali is asking I have a white I have white paint in needle bottle yes so can I use it yes yes definitely but don't use it right now use it at the very last don't use paint in between paint we are going to use when we are done drawing everything because after the paint we have to keep it like lying down flat to dry dry it out well so don't use it right now just leave the space and use it later okay so we are going to make these kind of thing in every other circle not in the all circles okay not in this one then we are going to work in this next one then we are going to work in this one then we are going to work in this one so you see I worked on every other all four circles not in the all eight circles so it would be great if I trace it with the pen so that you guys can see it clearly. Hmm. 
right and now in these remaining four we are going to start from these points where these top smaller you know one centimeter inner circle is we are going to join them with these and we are going to draw two lines oh not in this one okay now let's first start working in our these inner circles inner one centimeter circles and then we'll work in our these uh, eye shape so for these inner circles guys look very carefully first look very carefully on my art table because all eight circles are absolutely same so if you draw on if you just take look at the one circle then you can easily complete the other circle we already have our this one line this is the center line okay so now we are going to trace draw one line two line contour lines and this contour line so I drew two lines on the top two lines on the bottom on the top is the frowning lines on the bottom is the smiling lines these are the horizontal one and then we are going to draw the vertical one we are not going to draw in the absolute center we are going to draw one at each side and they all are the contour one and then this shape two and maybe one more it's absolutely your choice how many lines you want to draw but to give it a little contour globe kind of look so that's what we are going to draw in all the circles look here carefully again if you want to see it so one two one two then one two and one two like that we are going to draw in all the circles eight times that is what the pattern drawing is all about then you that you keep repeating the same pattern but even while repeating the pattern you have to be full focused so that's why you get that relaxing effect or the meditative effect because that's the fun of the pattern drawing. So two lines we are drawing on the top, two lines we are drawing on the bottom and two two lines we are drawing vertically also at each side. And after that we are going to fill it as a checker. We are going to fill one box, leave one box. This is a very easy pattern drawing but it is uh, with the easy pattern it's really easy to be mess up really especially while while filling the checkers so be fully focused and don't hurry up
so i'm done with the boxes drawing the line now we are going to fill the box please take a look one more time always start filling from this bottom this big block we can use a thick black pen also to fill these it's your choice and then now we are going to leave every box which is like connecting it and we are going to fill the side box we are not going to fill the bottom of it we are going to fill the side box we are not going to fill this one but the side one same way here and that's how we keep repeating it as if we are filling the checker and once we are done with the drawing at the very last when we do the shading then you'll actually see that it becomes so beautiful 3d-ish uh, look or that illusion kind of the feeling There you go so that's how we are going to repeat all the eight circles let's keep drawing guys let's keep repeating and filling all the boxes don't hurry take your time it's very easy to mess up while filling these boxes believe me because uh, they look very simple and they are simple but they need full focus so fill one box leave one box fill one box leave one box <laughs> thank you for subscribing deepthi these tiny characters are so funny they make so funny noises and guys when you go when you are done drawing and even after the drawing and the shading if you still want to put some colors or some elements if you want to stick any gem or anything so you can uh, do whatever you feel like and but don't forget to take the picture of it and submit your work at the art corner in discord so that everyone can see it and you can also see all other participants artwork if you are not at the discord please join it download the app discord and you can see the link of the discord in the chat and there are various channels so there is one channel that is the art corner channel and in that channel you can submit your work you can submit your other other artwork also if you are doing at home and you can inspire us and you can see other participants work and we all can inspire each other you can see upcoming projects there you can see my all patron only uh, videos which are going to be unlocked in november every sunday one video so they all are little intricate mandalas intricate zen doodles with different lot of mediums mixed media mandala and one colorful gem and the glossy finish zen doodle so you all you can unlock all those at the patreon.com you can check the patreon link also for those all patreon only videos and there is one inktober channel so participants whoever is participating in the inktober challenge so every day one drawing you can see there the prompt is there everywhere on the google it's a worldwide challenge for all the artists it's a beautiful and 
beautiful challenge you can just see the prompt and join it at any time and you can submit your drawing with the tags keep drawing I'm done with the four these globes what do you call them do you call them globes do you call them disco lights do you call them uh, uh, let's see if any other different name come to your mind for these smaller beautiful circles these are the planets because basically they all are the abstract patterns right but we love to give them names so let's see what name is coming to your mind write down in the chat if you have any other name than that spherical grid disco 3d ball football yes so that is our imagination guys and you know imagination is the only limit when we are talking about the pattern drawing Once we're done creating all of this, uh, let's take a quick 30 second break for everyone. Okay. So I hope everyone heard Ajay that after completing these eight disco balls or the footballs or the spherical balls or the planets, we are going to take a quick 30 second break, 30 second water break and then we'll resume together. And if you guys have the white acrylic paint or the white uh, gouache paint or the white correction ink pen we can you can use that at the very end I'm going to show you the trick how to use uh, how to make your dots or the circles in the perfect circular shape uh, in these kind of mandala or the zendala Use yes, you can use whitener. Any thick, white, opaque ink thing will work. Still, if you want, you can just use any rough paper and use your black pen, make a box, and then use over it just to give it a try that it's working on that black ink very well it's not seeping in and that black ink is not coming up over the white it's not making it muddy or the gray so you can definitely use that and there is no harm in trying at the rough paper before you start using it on your actual project right and here i'm at the last disco light Umi is asking, can I use white tube color with toothpick? You can use, and again, whatever medium you are using, it's highly recommendable to just try it on, on the rough paper. Just make one box with the black pen and just try over it. If it is opaque, if it is hiding the black ink and the black ink is not coming over it, then you are good to go. So we are done with the with these all eight balls and we can take a 30 second break water break guys and then see you soon okay Ajay yeah before we take the break can you just show the final product yes or, or keep it on the screen yes this is the final product guys which we are working right now and so far we have worked this much 
Okay. Yeah, we'll be back in 30 okay guys so now we are going to work in these uh, our eye shape or these beautiful petal shape in between these disco balls so we already have you see this one line so just alongside with that we are going to draw a few more lines one two three and we are going to keep our lines into the same direction the same contour way okay like that so i drew three lines on the top one two three and i drew one two three four five lines in the bottom one two three four five so three lines on the top oops i leave this box here leave this box here too so one two three on the top and one two three four five in the bottom three on the top and five lines with the same direction so total we are drawing the eight lines and one line is already there and if you want you can make these parallel lines a little bit more wider so if you want to draw a little less lines it's absolutely fine if you want you can draw them a little closer then also it is fine After these line drawings we are going to give little bit flicking and for the flicking you see we are going to do flicking in in one block leave one block like the way we did our if you want you can use little thinner tip pen for that then also it will it will be okay if you want you can use the same pen here like the way i'm using and do the flicking flicking means thick to thin don't uh, make straight line like if i'm talking about the flicking so it is like that thick to thin i'm not doing these straight lines we are not ending it with the straight we are doing this thick to thin so this is flicking that's what we are doing and we are doing it in the one block we are leaving one block and with the flicking we can give it little those three dish look right start from the bottom most block and then leave one block and this will complete by the shading if you want you can use color pencils along, along with the graphite pencil shading if you want you can skip the graphite pencil shading and you can just use the color pencil shading it's absolutely your choice or you can use any color marker pen color crayons 
or if you are using the watercolor paper so you can use colored watercolors or the watercolor water brush pens so as i say imagination is the only limit whatever materials you have or you like to use you can use it's your artwork so it's your design what you want to use and if you want to just keep it the classic way you can exactly copy my style i'm just keeping it in the, into the classic way just with the gray tone keep repeating the same pattern Here is the last. Okay. I'll wait, guys, no worries. And I'm done with all these eight blocks. I'm waiting for you guys. Take your time. And I'm grabbing my pencil. While waiting, I am just erasing these lines, these leftover pencil lines. Because we don't need these guidelines anymore. Although I always erase them at very and after it dries like after two three hours because sometimes if we erase while using the pen maybe sometimes you know that black ink is also like kind of smudge if you uh, just do it in hurry so it's always advisable to just leave it like that and maybe that in the evening like after three four hours you can use your erasers I'm just using the precision eraser so and trying to just stay on the pencil trying to avoid the pen so that it won't get smudge so please write down in the chat when you guys are done till here so that we all can start with the next step now Aja, please let me know when shall I start or resume. Okay. Sure. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, guys. And you see, as soon as you erase the guidelines and you see a different picture of your work, right? Okay. I'm again using the pencil, guys. And as you see where there his top part is, so the same way we are going to draw here this bottom part like that. So I'm using it like this. Just in these four sections here. So now guys there are two ways of making the circle so one way I'm showing you like we can draw these circles like these and we can fill the leftover spaces like that so we have these circles all around other way we are going to fill everything with the black pen and we can use the thick black pen and then we are going to use the black marker pen on the top like this so this is the second way if you don't have the whitener ink if you don't have the white acrylic paint and some dotting tool then 
I would suggest you to make the circles. Then don't fill the hole, okay? If you have anything to use as a white, you, if you don't have anything to put as the white dots, then leave the circles. If you have a, something to use like the white acrylic paint, white jelly roll pan, white correction ink pan, then go ahead and fill the way I'm filling it like this. Okay, and leave that one. Fill that one. So it is a it is on the just on the four circles, not on the all eight circles. Be careful. And I'm going to use the white acrylic paint and the dotting tool but I'm going to use it at the very last because once we use the acrylic paint then we don't do anything because we need we need to leave that flat to for the drying For the bigger areas, I always prefer to use the thick black pen. It's quicker and it's better to like, you know, save the time. For the space, do we need to make circles also? What? So I think you're making circles in the first inner most circle, right? Yes. So if you don't have the white acrylic paint or white jelly roll pen, then I would suggest you to draw the circles like this. and leave the extra space and leave the circles like that. But in this way, you don't get that absolute beautiful circular shape. So I always prefer if we have the this thick space, not in the smaller one, a smaller one we always draw the circles, but in th these thick space, I would prefer to do the dots with the acrylic paint that I'm going to do after this one I'm going to show you in the same video okay so we are done till this now and we need to draw four more these circular lines very tiny circular lines so I'm just using my this pen oops it's not tightening well what's happening seems like yeah now it's going okay so I'm just checking if it's working fine yes so guys you see where we didn't fill in these four so we are just drawing one more line very near to that so first take a look so that you will get the idea what I'm talking about. Just these double lines. So it would be easier if we draw it with the compass but we can draw it freehand also. Okay. Drawing compass is like easier, quicker and with the same distance everywhere. And in these one we are going to divide it into these equal sizes kind of if it's still they are not equal that's absolutely fine is it visible what's happening in between this hanging <laughs> character so funny Thank you. 
it's okay if these boxes are little bigger or smaller okay guys again we are going to fill one box and leave one box basically this pattern is a zendala pattern uh, so like mandala is basically you know lot of these humps and petals and humps and petals and spirals so those are the traditional mandala designs which we use but when we use these kind of little illusion kind of pattern and uh, most modern kind of style so we call it zendala instead of mandala but uh, they are in the circular form they are growing into the center to outside so that's why we put them into the mandala category including with all the modern pattern designs so it has been given a different name like the zendala you can call them whatever you feel like it's your choice okay after this one more lining guys one more hatching is left we did a stippling here we did flicking here we did one fill one like other filling here and now the hatching hatching are just the pure parallel lines we can use the same pen for the hatching we can use little thinner tip pen you can see i'm just using little thinner tip pen let me use this zero one size this is 08 i'm using in the whole drawing and here is the 01 absolutely optional guys if you don't have the thinner tip pen don't worry you can use exactly the same pen the pen you are using okay i'm just showing you how it changes the look if you change the tip size just in this section we are not going to draw over this filling one okay we are just going to draw over this empty one and we are going to draw these parallel straight lines and this is called the hatching technique lines are absolutely parallel to each other they are not touching try to put them into the same distance not to touch them and don't go out of the line anywhere stay inside the line like this we are going to repeat it into all four sides we are just going to do it into the all four sides so actually we divided our this eight sided uh, pattern design into four and four so something is common everywhere like this disco ball is common everywhere these eight uh, beautiful these uh, football kind of shape everywhere but some of the design is divided into four into four just to give it more twist and to put more drama into our this pattern so keep drawing in all the four sides And once you are done completing all the four sides, then we'll start the next step.
and if you miss any part and you want to see it later guys it will be available on my youtube with the same link you can see it later no problem and i'm just left with one more section here We have made lot of other mandalas in our past video. So if you see draw with me playlist at my YouTube, you will find all different kind of pattern drawings which we do on live set in these kind of live sessions. They all are there in that playlist. The name of the playlist is draw with me. Okay, now we are done with that. So after this I think I just want to leave it like that in the drawing and now I'm grabbing my pencil for the shading and after the shading I'll grab my white acrylic paint and will make these dots in these uh, beautiful these black white fillings before that there is there is one more stippling is left in these you know trophy kind of shape The final yes so I'm going to show you the final drawing just give me a minute let me complete these stippling so here is the final drawing guys So if these are the triangles, if we want, we can add these triangles too. Okay, let's add them too. So you see where these points are, these two points, we are going to join them like this. And then inside we can draw one more triangle in all of them and the dot one more triangle and dot we are done with the where is the eraser and I'm erasing these lines here right and we can put a little bit more dots here around the line to make it more darker near the corner now I'm grabbing my pencil guys and you can use normal school pencil 2HB pencil or 2B 3B 4B or any darker pencil here I'm grabbing 3B pencil today and we'll start working in these disco lights first these smaller one centimeter balls and we are going to lay down the graphite as you see I'm using the side of the tip I'm not using the direct tip and then in these uh, our eye shape we are going to lay down in the both corners and that's how we are going to lay down the graphite everywhere in all eight sides and then we'll blend them for the blending you can use either the q-tip or you can use either the blending stump 
it's absolutely your choice what you want to use the only thing is if you are using the q-tip be very careful don't go out side of the shape but it is just a pencil if by mistake you go out you can easily erase it right no worries but if you are using any other color pencils or anything then be really careful keep laying down the graphite in all eight eye shapes as well as these are disco lights footballs spherical balls or these illusion circles any graphite pencil will work here So first we'll lay down graphite everywhere, wherever is required and then we'll do the shading in the next step. So that will save time. We need not to change our tool again and again. After this I'm going to use the same pencil alongside these inner center point, little bit graphite just in the corner, just into the corner, okay that's it and now i'm using my this blending stump and blending it keeping it lighter into the center and darker into the corners if i want i can draw one more little big black line to make it more darker but I think it's looking pretty right now and if by mistake you fill everywhere then use the eraser and clean it into the center area okay this is really important to clean the center point to bring it forward because wherever you put graphite you take that into the background into, into the back side and wherever it is brighter it comes forward so that is how we play with the dimensions and we create that 3d illusion and be very uh, neat and clean like if anything is going out like that so then please clean that i'm going to clean that later So keep your work very neat and clean. You can use Q-tip, you can use that earbud or any cotton ball or any tissue paper or any blending stump. If you really want to learn more about the blending, you can check my one of the videos on the blending devices in the drawing skill video. You can check that if you want to learn more about the flicking my first video ever in the YouTube was based on the flicking drawing exercise when I started about a year ago I made that at the first as the first video if you want you can check that flicking video flicking is really important if you want to draw the realistic drawing we use flicking while drawing the grass blades while drawing the whiskers of any animal or the hair or fur of the any animal and eyelashes and lot of the places so flicking is a beautiful exercise if you learn to draw realistic you can check that flicking exercise video and practice at home And I'm kind of done with the shading with the blending I mean and lot of the places I see these little uh, graphite is coming out of the shape so please make it clean it will make your work more beautiful 
and now the trick of the dots that I'm talking about you see all these beautiful white dots on these black big place this is what I'm talking about so I'm here using my color palette I'm here putting some white acrylic paint you can use any white glossy acrylic paint and whatever tool you have to make the dots I'm here using this crochet hook which has a plain surface on the dot and as I've tried it's giving me the perfect shape here perfect coming into the size so I'm just taking the white acrylic paint and with the white acrylic paint I'll first put one dot into the center here you see then one two three and then one two three so that's how we get kind of you know equal size of dots everywhere now I'm going to work in this one center one one two three two three so guys I'm taking a break here uh, break in the sense of the outer dots we are going to do the outer dots because first I want to really complete the inner dots that's what it is supposed to be and I started with the outer dot I don't know why we should first do the inner dots so I'm just cleaning it keeping it and grabbing my little you know these nail art tool and first I'm putting dot in between these hearts because we should start making dots from the center first but we are working in a smaller paper so it's absolutely fine that we can work like that and after these center dots now first we'll work in these inner dots one two three one two three one two three and here we can work on the outer also because we have worked in the inner dot already So if you want you can use you know silver color or golden color and you can try other colors here so it's absolutely your choice if you want to try with the other colors okay if you want to stay with the white stick with the white you can stick with the white color it's absolutely your choice So that's how we can combine dot painting with the mandala art like that and don't forget to clean your tool once you are done and uh, Rushali is asking can she use orange paint yes you can and before doing this white dot if you have the white jelly roll pen and if you want to fix these a heart shape which you draw and if you want to fix them make them little bigger you can do that and if you forgot to do that before you can wait until it dries and you can fix it later because otherwise you will just mess up like the way I just did little bit here you go 
And now the last part of any pattern drawing. Sign, date and praise, right? So I'm signing it. And today's date is 24th. 10, 24th, 20 and I want to uh, praise myself. Good job Nidhi Prakash, you did awesome, beautiful abstract drawing, beautiful mandala, zendala art and I want to say thank you to all of you to join me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and you can create now these beautiful zendala style and you can put your own elements, you can expand it to into the bigger sizes you can add more patterns and you can add these kind of dots you know all the way in the outside with different other colors and yeah imagination is the only limit so don't forget to submit your artwork in the discord at the art corner channel and you can submit at the facebook also i would love to see what you guys are showing me how if you want to put any other element so i would really like to see and tomorrow we'll see each other for the zen doodle design and this is the pattern which we are going to draw tomorrow in our zen doodle pattern session same time same youtube channel and if you have not subscribed yet please go out from the text from the chat and subscribe the channel and click on the thumbs up button that will help me grow my channel and encourages me to keep continue these kind of sessions if you have any feedback you can write down here you can write down in facebook as well as there is a separate channel in the discord submit feedback you can give your feedback there too you are most welcome thank you guys see you bye